Holy f Good morning. Buenos dias. It's day six of our tour around Ecuador with Ecuador Freedom Bike Rentals. Wow. This morning we woke up to this incredible view. Most spectacular. It's uh, partly cloudy, but the, the clouds are just rolling through the Andes Mountains here, uh, here in Chuchilan, Ecuador. We're at the Black Sheep Inn, and this place is absolutely magical. So mystical. We rolled in kind of late. It was like 5, 5.30, so it was a little dark to start exploring and hiking around, and we were hungry. So we had an amazing dinner here and got to meet some really Really beautiful humans yeah. and um, just really enjoyed our cozy little romantic lodge or cabin. Yeah, I would say it's a cabin. It's a cabin. Yeah, definitely a cabin. So cute. Every detail, really thoughtful. These guys have a really gorgeous environmental perspective. So they've got composting toilets and they recycle like glass plastic. They've got a really cool recycling program. They even take um, tea bags, the uh, paper that goes around the tea bags, and they use them for notepads. How cute is that? Super cute. Their water sources source from like about four different streams streams and rivers high up in the Andes. We're about 10,400 feet above <laughs> sea level right now, which is pretty high altitude wise. If, you've, if you've seen uh, some of the other videos from Colombia, I got <laughs> altitude sickness. So I'm a little, uh, little lightheaded today, but no headache. So that's good. That's good. Yeah. I might have to drive us out of here today. I think you will. <laughs> yeah. Through All the right. mountains. <laughs> here we go. All right. We gotta get on the road. Um, we've got a 9 a.m. start, so we've got a half hour to finish packing up. Get out of here. Yeah, we're gonna hit a few towns along the way and end up in Banos. So yeah. we're super excited about this trip. Let's go on the journey together. Around the hairpin. Around the hairpin. That's how that's how we roll around here. You ever heard that song? Yeah. Around the hairpin, we go speeding in a little car. Have you heard it? No. Oh, it's cute. Today is going to be a pretty eventful day. There's a lot going on today. Yeah. We have about here on our uh, route map. We have uh, about yes. 209 miles that we're going to be traveling mm -hmm. today, starting in Chukchilan. 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 There we go. Chukchilan, Ecuador. And uh, we're going to be heading to, I'm looking at the map a little bit to kind of see where we're going. Head to the north just a little bit, and then to the east, and then we're going to go south and towards Ambato. Um, Cotopaxi. Yeah, Cotopaxi. There's a, looks like there's a, a colorful indigenous market that we, oh, we, we might, might get that. we might get to go to that depending on if we make it there in time. And if it happens on Easter Sunday. Whoa, Ooh, look at that. Yeah. Right. Slow, slow roll. There we go. So, uh, rock slides do happen. Yeah. Um, landslides happen. Uh, you gotta be mud. really careful and just like look ahead. Really yeah. Good. So while on the road, we get to go through a lot of really cool stops. Um, so there's uh, that indigenous market. There's also Pujila, Pujili, something I like that. I think Pujili is the one. That's uh, a market with also. The indigenous market on Sundays. The other market before that is on Thursdays. Oh, nice. Um, then through Ambato, there's some hot springs, a wildlife reserve, and then we get to go stop at our hotel for the night. Uh, maybe two nights. I think two nights. Yeah, in Banos. Yeah. We got a rest day tomorrow, which means adventure day. Yeah, which means that we're going to be hiking and going to hot springs and all sorts of cool stuff. Yeehaw! Yeah, yeah, so let's continue on this journey and uh, let's roll some B-reel for you.
to the century plus year old cobblestone road that is still maintained by hand. It's really well, actually. It is bumpy. <laughs> Would hold this camera stiller, but we're on the cobblestone road. So we've been driving for a while. The landscape is constantly changing. It has been so amazing. Holy f there's a bus on our side of the road. That Big bus looked like bus. it was about to fall over. Yeah. Passing oh, another car on a curve. On a curve. Dumbass. Okay, so the landscape is constantly changing. We're at about 13,000 feet and the land has like suddenly got more barren. And we've been facing this epic volcano. I think that it is Chimbarazo. Chimbarazo. It is snow peaked enormous like so big that it is swallowed by the clouds if we're at like 13,391 feet right now then that thing is probably at least double how tall we are it's pretty tall it I think it's epic I think it's over 20,000 feet probably yeah, yeah, yeah it's huge this drive has been amazing through the the, the, the slot canyon. I don't even know if it's a slot canyon, but it's a, canyon. It's, a, a, it's a really cool canyon. The roads have been really, really smooth and well maintained with nice stripes and everything. They've been a little skinny, not gonna lie. A little uh, skinny. Yeah. You just um, gotta be careful when you're going around curves and when you're crossing bridges to uh, make sure you look good ahead. Um, so that you have the right of way because sometimes other cars will just take the right of way and cross the bridge it's only a one car bridge so that's the update this is amazing we're getting a little bit of drizzle so we're going to pay attention to the road and start listening to our ebook again Dear friends, was a Bacuña, cousin of the llama and the camel. A little bit skinnier. Chevere, chev, chev, chevere, chev, chev. We just learned chevere means cool. Uh, so we made a song about it. Yeah. Well, you might have known longer, but I just learned. So we made a song. It's really good. Ready? Chevere. Oh. Chevere, chef, chef, chevere, chef, chef, chevere, chef, chef, chevere, chef, chef, chevere. It's a good song, huh? We've just arrived at La Pasada del Arte. This is a beautiful little boutique hotel, holy smokes. Nice to end up in a place that has a restaurant after you've been on the road all day. What a drive. 209-ish miles Whew. all day, more than nine hours. It was gonna be about nine hours, but when you're driving through a solid cloud and you can only <laughs> see like two car lengths ahead of you, even if it says it go 90 kilometers per hour, you're probably only gonna be driving about 30 or 40. Sometimes 20, cause yeah. there potholes and stuff like that. And sometimes zero, like if you see one of those little llama friends, uh, you're... What are they called? The v... v... Viri... Virini? We had a wild drive. I started the day driving. Brian wasn't feeling so hot Aww. this morning. Um, so I started and it was my turn to drive anyways. Um, I'm kind of short, so after a while, like my legs were falling asleep driving the Jeep. <laughs> I couldn't get my seat lower. So if you're five foot one and three quarters and you're considering a Jeep Wrangler four by four, the seat doesn't really go down very far. It goes up a little bit and it, tilts a little bit, but it's it like cuts off the back of the leg circulation. For on sure, air. legs. Yeah. 
But it's comfy for you. Oh, for me, it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. I push the seat all the way back, lean it back a little, kind of with a nice lean on it. Got gangster, my honey in the seat. Just gangster roll. Yeah, I got my honey in the seat next to me, <laughs> pumping up some tunes and cruising Ecuador. That's right. Yeah. But I really enjoyed driving today. That was so nice. The like crazy windy roads and like everywhere you look, like every few minutes, the mm -hmm. landscape is changing. Mm -hmm. It's like constantly changing, which was really neat and super wild to see. Um, but when we were driving through the cloud, um, we were looking up at the snowy volcano and then all of a sudden it was just gone. gone. And we were in a complete cloud and we were supposed to go to a nature reserve, but it was so cloudy and rainy that mm. we were like, Ooh, like we don't really want to drive in the dark and Sylvain told us not to. Yeah, he told us not From to. From Ecuador Freedom Bike Rentals. He said don't drive in the dark because of potholes and stuff. Not because of any crazy cop conspiracies or anything that people tell you is going to happen. The cops have all been super nice. Um, that we've rolled up on, so. Yeah, totally yeah. nice. We did have a really awesome bathroom break when we stopped to like close by to Chimborazo. Uh, it's a huge volcano, like the biggest volcano um, in the world at the equator. But the stop was really fun. We ended up talking to some really awesome indigenous people and these cute little niñas, adorable little girls, uh, shared their wafer cookies with us. Yeah. And we had just like a really fun conversation in Spanish with the people there, um, which was nice. It's nice to be able to practice your Spanish. Like, I really am enjoying that. It was a very enjoyable, drive some like really wild roads. That one road we drove down coming into Banos was like the skinniest road and we're in this big fat Jeep and like literally people were like pulling off to the side of the road and. So imagine a single lane road that a car drives on. Split that in half, <laughs> that was this road. So we now have it made it wild. here into Banos. Uh, yeah. We're super hungry and yeah. like we normally do, we rolled in when it was dark because we like to take our time on things. We're filming. Yeah, yeah, we're filming and having fun and everything yep. like that. Uh, but yeah, we had so much fun uh, with, you know, driving the 4x4 Jeep from uh, Ecuador Freedom Bike Rentals is really a cool experience. Yeah, so if you wanna check out Ecuador Freedom Bike Rentals, make sure you check out the description. We've got links for them down there. Have a treasure hunt of your own. This has really been such an epic adventure. I'm gonna say it every single day, I'm sure, because this has been so fun. Um, and I know that yeah. I wouldn't have been able to pick the routes that these guys have picked no because way. like, I don't think that most of them show up on a normal Google map. Um, yeah. because Court, one of the owners was telling us that he goes and programs, you know, Google Basecamp and all this stuff to to have these maps that are only that only work on his GPS devices, which is totally cool. It's pretty innovative. This is like one of the coolest business models I've ever seen. Ever. Yeah. So anyways, we'll talk more about that on the next video. And make sure you stop by for day seven. Yeah, this is a wrap of day six. And until next time, friends. Adventure on. Adventure on. Bye. Bye.